hopefully I can get this on camera. Feeding the uh, little Savannah monitor some chicken. Make him work for it a little bit here. Get his little booty exercise. Here, make jump for it. Get it. Look at that, like a little crocodile. Oh, stuck in the roof of his mouth. So annoying when that happens to him. I feel so bad. If I try to help him, they'll stop eating, which I don't want, so I'm gonna let him kind of figure it out itself. Ooh, he got defensive. Let's see. While he's doing that, if I can just reach around. Oh, I think he got it. Did you get it? Nope, still in his mouth. Let's see if another piece knocks it down. Yep, there it went. Looks like both of them right down the gullet. A little fatty right here. Just a couple nice cubes of chicken. This is a pretty big piece. So, uh, I'm going to try to... There we go. Want any more, little dude? These guys are voracious little eaters. I just... I just this is his whole like play area but this is like his designated feeding and watering zone so whenever i open the tank to feed him we open this side of the tank and these two are usually open if we want to mess with him uh so he gets accustomed to knowing that this is that these tongs right here I mean food see look he knows the tongs so when he's in here all i gotta do is this right here he takes the chicken in here and he'll usually come over and that's how you train these guys you either do it with sounds names voices come on you want this last little piece little dude yeah, you do. Oh, mine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jump for it. You're going to like a little crocodile. A little crocodile. Oh, give me the tongues. Beautiful. Freaking dude is a savage. $20, guys. These things are a super cool pet to have. Super cheap in the hobby. Do require a lot, though. They are one of the, one of the more medium maintenance reptiles that I've come across. Uh, basking spots of 100 to 120 some people even say 150 which I don't believe whatsoever that's too high uh, we've got what's supposed to be topsoil labeled as topsoil and it's pretty much dirt and wood shavings which really pissed us off when we bought it there's even uh, chunks of pallet in here so we had to pick those out it took us like three hours um, but yeah we've got a uh, little uh, thermostats already inside of here telling you the temperature on this side of the tank which here is the thermostat itself and this is the humidity gauge We've got these back here, which that's actually roughly about what it's supposed to be on here. Nah, no, 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 mother can fly. He'll kill it. He will chase that thing down and munch it if it doesn't get out of here. But yeah, we've got this beautiful geode. Has his little basking hide. He's got a nice log to climb. He likes little basking sections. He's such a little fatty. So uh, now what he's gonna do is he's gonna use the water dish. He's probably gonna climb back up here, lay down on his on his little basking basking board here, and his little. His little hide. Uh, the thing is, you have to watch these guys because they will comatose themselves in the water. They're super difficult to work with, man, because they're such aggressive. As, they're so aggressive as babies. See, look, just uh, out of the water. Look, here you go. I'm going to put you right up here on your basket. So, this right here usually stays around 100 degrees. Uh, this one over here averages 110 to 115. Uh, at one point it was at 120, but that was because we had, didn't have enough ventilation. These guys require quite a bit of ventilation. Uh, we've got freaking pinky size holes all through this thing. Absolutely stunning little reptiles to have. Super, super fun to play with. Uh, average uh, about three to five feet. Uh, there have been a rare case of six foot savannas, and that's usually only in females because the males are sexually dimorphic to the females, which means they're smaller than the females. He's going to come back over here because, as you guys can tell, this is still in here. This is without the food in it, and he thinks this is food. He thinks as long as the door is open, it's feed time. So, yeah. He's going to probably come in here. You're not going to swim around a little bit for us. Yeah, look at him go. I'm actually going to get him a bigger water bowl, and I think I'm actually going to build him a custom one in here. Uh, get, like, a waterproof tarp or something and just lay some boards in here. Uh, actually build, like, a little... Oh, I might use a little cat litter box, actually. That would be really cool. And uh, build him just a bigger place to go because once this guy gets bigger, this whole section will probably end up having to be a water. He'll actually have to have a bigger tank when he's done. These guys do burrow. It is rare for juveniles. Mine has not burrowed one little bit. As you can see, this astroturf freaking topsoil crap is perfect. Uh, but yeah, this little dude is just a beautiful, beautiful little guy. And I hope to get a couple more very, very soon. Uh, and I have to work with him. So, yep. Beautiful. All right, guys. I'm going to pop off here. Later.